Guys, we have a plant emergency. Yes, it is an emergency. Well, maybe not to some people, but to me it is. So, when I was watering this lovely snake plant, I love a snake plant. Um, I noticed that it had some spots on her beautiful, I'm gonna call them blades. The leaves, but the blades, okay? I'm sure there's a technical term for Sansevieria leaves, but I like to call them blades. Anywho, there were spots. I'm a little out of breath, sorry. Um, there were spots on my Sansevieria, and it's fungus, and I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> so, the one thing I wanted, I wanted, this is gonna be a quick video, I just kinda wanna talk a little bit more about it. You do tend to get fungus on Sansevieria, um, pothos, I've got a pothos here, I'll show you in a minute. But if you have them inside, you're more apt to get it um, because this particular fungus does well in cooler environments where there is moisture. So that's gonna be the majority of your houseplants right now in the summer. I live in North Carolina. It's on average 95 degrees um, most of the summer at least. Um, so we keep it pretty cool in the house. So there's a perfect condition for the fungus to grow on your plants. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to treat this fungus on all of my inside house plants. And then um, I'm also going to show you a picture here real quick of what these spots on the blades look like. So if you look here, it kind of starts white right here and you can see it's starting to discolor the blade, the coloration uh, on the blade or the leaf, so to speak. And then over here, you will notice that it's already starting to turn brown and kill that portion of the leaf. So I've already cut off one blade that was infected and these are the um, infected spots that I did find. And to go and talk a little bit more about the fungus, if it's a very tight and congested plant, which this one is, I'm happy it is, it looks awesome and healthy and it's so much new growth, but it's very tight inside here. So there's not very much air circulation. That's the other thing that will cause the fungus on your inside houseplants or your, your indoor houseplants, I should say. Um, so that's something to look out for. If it's not getting much circulation, airflow, that kind of thing, it's a perfect breeding ground for fungus. I also noticed that my Sansevieria outside have not uh, shown any signs of the fungus yet. Obviously it's warmer outside, so on and so forth. The wind is probably moving through it a little bit more. So just some things to think about. All of my plants um, have been treated for insects already, but we're gonna go ahead and treat it for the fungus. Another plant that I saw the fungus on was my pothos, and you guys will see that I did a uh, plant haul video on this guy. I got this one from Lowe's. So the fungus on this will show up like that, right here. So a nice, almost circular brown spot. And of course, it's on mine, it's on the prettiest leaf, the biggest leaf on this particular plant. So there's one there, and I think I may have clipped off the already infected one. You can see it's starting here, if I can, right here, it's already starting. So what I will end up doing is clipping off the infected ones. I won't do that with my Sansevieria. I'll probably just prune around it, but I will probably clip off the infected leaves on this pothos, and then we're gonna go ahead and treat it. I'll let them sit outside probably for a little while. So what am I gonna use to treat this fungus on my houseplants? I have picked up some neem oil, and this neem oil, um, it's by Bonite, so pretty straightforward uh, company. You'll be able to find this mainly at any Lowe's, Home Depot, Big Box, that kind of thing, as well as your local garden center for the most part. So if they don't have Bonite, we're gonna use this. I'm probably going to spray it today, um, and then I will probably wait seven days and spray again. Guys, one thing I wanted to mention is make sure you do this outside, and also um, you wanna spray till you have runoff, which means it needs to be dripping off the actual plant. And I do apologize about the sound out here. It's kind of a windy day um, and the AC's running. So again, I do apologize about that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it sprayed down and show you guys what I'm doing. All right guys, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or you just wanna say hi to me, do so in the comment section below. I'll see you guys soon.